in this video, we will solve the problem 5-38 from RC Impeller Engineering Statics Plug Edition. According to this problem, the spring CV remains in the horizontal position at all times due to the roller at P. If the spring is unstretched when theta is equal to 0 degrees and the bracket achieves its equilibrium position when theta equals to 30 degrees, determine the stiffness A of the spring and the horizontal and vertical components of the action at pin A. To solve this problem, first of all we have to mark all the forces and the reactions. So we have one spring force, we have one vertical component of pin reaction and we have one horizontal component for a reaction at pin A. Now let's label them. Let's call this Fs. This is Ax and this is Ay. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in y direction is equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Ay minus 300 this force is equal to 0. From here Ay is equal to 300 newtons. This is our first answer. Similarly we have sum of the forces in x direction is equal to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Ax minus Fs is equal to 0. From here Ax is equal to Fs. Let's call this equation A. Now we, we can see that we have two unknowns but one equation. So we need to generate another equation. Our third equation is sum of the moments about point A is equal to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. The Ax and Ay components of the reaction at pin A will not produce any moment about point A because they are passing through it. So there is no moment arm for these two force components about point A. And if we consider force Fs, Fs is trying to rotate the assembly in counterclockwise direction about point A. So it would be taken as positive. And the moment arm for this force is this perpendicular distance from the pivot point to the line of the action of force. And this distance is 0 0.6 cos theta. And if we consider force F, this force, it is trying to rotate in clockwise direction, so it would be taken as negative. And the moment arm for this force is this perpendicular distance from the pivot point to the line of the action of force. And if I divide this figure into two, then the moment arm is the sum of these two distances. Let's call this A and let's call this B. So our moment arm is A plus B and the equation is equal to 0. Now let's draw some angles. This angle right here is also 30 degrees. Because this is alternate to this angle right here and it is theta and the value of theta is 30 degrees. So this must be 60 degrees. Because they are complementary to each other. So now for the distance A. Consider triangle. Let's call this point O. O, C and B. So we have 
sin 60 degrees is equals to a over 0 0.45. So a is equals to 0 0.45 sin 60 degrees. Similarly for b, if we consider triangle, let's call this O dash, O dash, C and A, then sine 30 degrees is equals to B upon 0 0.6. So from here, B is equals to 0 0.6 sine 30 degrees. Now, let us put these two values into our moment equation. So from here, we know that theta is 30 degrees, which is provided to us in the problem and f is 300 newtons. So our equation becomes fs 0 0.6 cos 30 degrees minus 300 0 0.45 sin 60 degrees plus 0 0.6 sin 30 degrees is equals to 0. So from here, Fs is equals to 398.2 newtons. And if we consider equation A, then Ax is equals to Fs. So consider equation A. This equation. So Ax is equals to Fs, so Ax is also 398.2 Newtons. This is our second answer. Now we have to find the value of stiffness constant K. So if we consider this triangle, let me show right here. This angle right here is theta. This is 0 0.6. And this is the distance which the spring has covered when loaded. We have to find this distance, extension. So x is equals to 0 0.6 sin theta and theta is 30 degrees so x is equals to 0 0.3 meters so now we can write it as fs is equals to k x and k is equals to fs over x which in turns is equals to 398.2 divided by 0 0.3 so K is equals to 1327.3 newtons per meter. This is our third answer. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any query about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.